My name is Manal Zainuddin. I am the founder of Orbit's Development Code, a transdisciplinary approach for conscious learning and being. I have worked in the field of education for more than 20 years. And now after all those years of experiential learning, a concept which I truly support and truly encourage because it's the core of learning, I have developed Orbit's which is the acronym of the following phrases. O stands for own your way. R stands for raise your standards. B stands for believe in your assets. I stands for integrate your mind and positive emotion, of course, in day-to-day -day -day, uh, tasks and activities. T stands for tailor to your needs and aspirations and S stands for spot and solve your problems practically. Uh, well, why and how is this a transdisciplinary approach? Simply because every stakeholder has a story, not only within the school ground, but also beyond the school ground. And those stories are brought every day to school, and uh, whether consciously or subconsciously. In other words, uh, we are saying that while they are sometimes aware of, of those experiences, of those stories and of those factors and are able to control them, there are many other times when they are not aware of those factors and they are not able to control them. And I myself have, uh, have, have gone through all those stages when I was a child and then an, and an adolescent and then an adult in a professional world. And so is everybody. So are all those stakeholders. And, uh, and I am naturally uh, a daughter, a, uh, a, a sister, a niece, a wife, a mother, and probably in the future, a, a grandmother. And I am also a global citizen. In other words, I am a community member of, the, of this entire globe. So I do care about cultures and about traditions, and I'm concerned about global issues and concerns. So that's why we are saying uh, that this, uh, this is the pivot. This is the key point. We cannot afford more uh, separations and more divisions. Now is the time to speak. Now is the time to bring together all those themes, this, this myriad of themes, and shed the light on them. Uh, we can say that uh, the term education, as it is widely understood, is mainly the conventional term, which relates to schools and schooling. When we speak about pedagogy, curriculum, um, assessment, uh, professional development, and so on. But the education that I will be speaking about is not only within this, within this framework. The education that we will be speaking about when I refer to the term ed of ed education through this channel, I will mean neuroeducation. And this is the combination of education, of uh, psychology, cognitive science, neuroscience, and we will take it a little bit further when we speak about heart science and we will even take it further when we speak about consciousness and being. There are five main frameworks for this approach. One, it is transdisciplinary, which means it includes all disciplines, and I have mentioned that before, all disciplines within school, uh, within the school community and beyond school community. And we will be speaking about this in the coming videos. Point number two, it is based on metacognition. Now, as we all know, metacognition is a, is a, is a kind of reflection. In other words, it is the awareness of, of thoughts, of uh, performance, of attitudes, and even of feelings. Uh, the monitoring and assessing of those uh, attitudes, feelings, performance, um, and, and even emotions and feelings. And this is not only limited to leadership, it is also uh, highly prevalent in learning and day-to-day -day conduct. Point number three, it is an open-ended path. And by this, uh, I mean, we all know that learning is infinite. Learning is vast. It is wide, just like the cosmos. And uh, when I thought about orbits, O-R-B-I-T-S, 
uh, it was the acronym uh, and it is the acronym now for certain phrases that I mentioned, but also orbits turned out to be related to space and cosmos. And honestly, that was the best and the greatest example of serendipity, which I'm very happy about. Uh, point number four, it is uh, based also on questioning. And needless to say, true learning starts from driving questions. The greatest inventions in history started with questions. And I have used questioning as a very powerful strategy in my classes when I was a teacher and later as a director when I was training teachers as well. And for those who are familiar with my content now, uh, they will notice that in my conference presentations, uh, uh, I use, I always use questioning and method and uh, questioning as a strategy. Uh, in my blog uh, posts, there is always this section, however, the debris, which states a question. And also in my podcast, almost every episode ends with an open ended question, including the ones with guests when they come out with their open ended questions, because we all know that learning is about curiosity and inquiry. That is what true learning is. And I always uh, reiterate Plutarch's uh, saying, the mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. Point number five, it is, this approach is uh, the fine line concept for lack of a better phrase. And by this, I mean, there is a fine line between knowledge and awareness, between uh, ignorance and neglect, between success and glorification uh, between achievement and purpose and when we are able to read between the lines of our life purpose between what we are doing on a day-to-day -day basis whether we are on school ground or when we go back at home with our families and with our over our community then this is this is when we really we can really say that we have through awareness and we are self-aware of our environment. And from what I have gone through, I've discovered that, and probably many of you have noticed that, there is no fixed equation for anything. Everything is changing. There are cycles in this universe. There are cycles in our day-to-day -day life. Even our human life is a cycle. So um, nothing is fixed and that's when really when we when our wit can really play a very important part now um, all this comes from experience and from my from my tangible experience on school ground in the community and uh, from thorough reading and researching and i can easily say that there is no ut utopia and there can be no utopia there is no excellent school and there is no excellent home or family there is no excellent uh, perfect country. There is no perfect system. We have to be realistic. We have to be realistic because we know how and we all are part of this day-to-day -day life. And uh, But what's really important is seeing through the lens of a child, seeing through the lens of a teacher, seeing through the lens of a leader, uh, seeing through the lens of a parent. This is what makes all the difference and this is what makes our lives easier regardless of all the challenges uh, because this is how we will foster empathy and understanding and life is nothing without empathy and understanding especially uh, during these days when we have noticed how empathy and understanding are crucial uh, because of these difficult times uh, in this channel and throughout my approach i advocate uh, neither the the, the trend nor the dull and the mundane, and neither the, the rebel nor the follower, and uh, neither the past nor the future. Actually, there is nothing except the now. There is nothing except this present moment. When we are focusing all our attention to what we're doing at the moment, so that we can, so, so that our future will unfold. We are not the ones who make our future. It's this future that unfolds when we really focus and give all our attention to the present moment. And we will be speaking about this uh, throughout our, uh, throughout this channel and the upcoming videos. You know, Paulo Coelho actually captures it the best way 
when he writes Like a Flowing River. There is a title of a book, Like a Flowing River. And uh, this simile actually is very powerful. And when we really think about the river, our lives are like a river. And we all know that the river is this flowing, uh, ever moving water. And th that the, the, a river can have a leaf, can have a twig, and uh, it can also have a pebble. But when we really think about the leaf, the leaf is this little, is this very light uh, thing or object that can easily flow with the water. The twig uh, can move with the water and will move forward, but with heaviness. Uh, whereas the pebble cannot move forward, it will simply sink and it will be stagnant on that river floor. And it's up to us to really think who we want or what we want to be. Do we want to be that leaf? Do we want to be that twig? Do we want to be that pebble? And this is the, the key. This is the key for consciousness and being. This channel is a tribute to every person who has crossed my life. My small family, my big family, my friends, my colleagues, my teachers, my professors, uh, my role models, and everyone who has just sent me a gesture of kindness or of a simple smile. I think we are here to, to be of inspiration to each other and to be source, a source of empowerment. I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you find it helpful and inspiring or, and to suggest it to a friend or a colleague. Now on this channel, uh, there will be, along with my content, there will also be content provided by other professionals. There will be uh, conference presentations, there will be the video casts uh, taken from the podcast episodes, there will be the masterminds or what I call master orbit and much more. This channel will address all stakeholders and it will address all disciplines it will communicate to all to all types of stakeholders not only leaders and teachers but also children and parents and honestly speaking i i i, I truly find my way in addressing also children and adolescents and uh, we all know that children and adolescents are our future leaders. They are our future fathers and mothers. They are our future community members who will definitely contribute to the community and add up to whatever inspiration we are doing right now with their own inspiration as they grow up. So now is the time and we don't want to waste that time. Let's endorse conscious learning and being.